Okay, we are following Sean's journey as he trains for the 128th Boston Marathon. And That's I know right. you're getting a lot of advice from people. Yeah. Uh, a lot of helpful advice, too. And it helps when you work with a former marathon runner. I wanted to seek advice from someone who has run the Boston Marathon. There's plenty of people that have done that. <laughs> Including our very own Kevin Skorupa. So after asking several people, then you yeah. came to me? Is that how this works? Uh, basically. Okay. What advice do you have for a novice? A okay. Like me? My major, major mistake above all else was the fact that I did not go look at Heartbreak Hill ahead of it. Okay. I would definitely seek that out. Um, I had an image in my head of what it was. I tried to train on certain hills that I were told were like it. There's nothing like it. So your heart was broken after that? Uh, totally. I mean, you get to the top of the hill and there is a banner there that says you have made it through Heartbreak Hill. And I'm like, I thought I did that four other times before I finally got to that banner. Uh, thank you, by the way, for showing off your props right here. I, I appreciate yes, that. the actual heavy. shoes I ran the marathon in, I still walk in them every day at this point. No more running out of those particular shoes. Got it. And yeah, my numbers with still the... Uh, the Little pins. Oh, neat. Yes. If I put in headphones and I listen to music while I train, mm -hmm. what do you recommend I listen to? Well, I mean, it's 80s music <laughs> all day, every day, right? <laughs> Obviously upbeat 80s music as uh, opposed to ballads, and there are plenty of those back in the 80s all as right. well. Kaja Gugu's greatest hits is what I'm hearing right now. <laughs> <laughs> if you must. All right. Lace them up. I'll see you out there. No Still ballads? Ballad. Come You're on, right. the hairband ballads, they're great. <laughs> yeah, they are pretty good. Yeah. All right, so here's a look at the total so far. You've helped raise more than $7,500. Our goal is to make it to $25,000. And you can make a donation at WMUR.com slash Marathon Fundraiser. Yeah. So are you going to be doing Heartbreak Hill now? Uh, I, I have him? taken the advice. I haven't gotten down there yet, but I am hoping to get down there and put on some hairband ballads <laughs> as I make my way up the famous hill. There you so go. In other words, you're going to do the exact opposite of my advice, which is pretty much what I expected at the beginning of this, even Wait. before we recorded it. So there we are.